All right. Uh, so, uh, hello. Uh, who are we speaking with here? Okay, my name is Robin Williams, and I chair the CRD Transportation Commission on Salt Spring Island. This is Director McIntyre. He is the CRD Director for Salt Spring. Okay, and uh, what is your take on this uh, demonstration? What, do you, what is this all about? Well, what it's all about is that there's always been an informal hitchhiking stop here, in addition to being a very uh, rudimentary bus pull-out. And I was actually traveling along here a couple of days ago and I saw a meeting between the Ministry of Transportation representative and a member of the RCMP. And I stopped and asked them what they were doing and they said that they'd been asked by the RCMP to block this off and make it uh, non-functional as a pull-up. And so uh, what really precipitated this is I brought that up to the attention of the community through a meeting that the uh, Transportation Commission had a week ago on Monday. And it hit the papers and it's caused quite an uproar. And what was the outcome of that meeting? meeting that, that meeting was for another topic, so I just put it out as an information piece right, to let the community know that this is what they were planning. It's one of the things that happens here on Salisbury is because we're an unincorporated community, uh, the ministry and the police and people like that can do things without even telling the community uh, what they're up to. And I think this is a big example of how the communities react. Okay, I heard that if this was a municipality, then hitchhiking would be illegal, but because it's not, hitchhiking is not illegal here. No, actually, I think you, I think you got that backwards. The thing is, uh, this is all the roads on Salt Spring are provincial highways. Mm -hmm. Basically, hitchhiking is illegal on provincial highways. Oh, it is, right? So even though this is a road going through town, it's a, considered a provincial highway, and it's administered by the Minister of Transportation. It's not administered by a local council. But it's the issue is really not about hitchhiking in general. It's about this particular stop. The RCMP officer involved decided that he felt it was unsafe and he communicated that to the ministry instead of a municipality because we don't have one. And they have to act on an action brought up by the police department. So. Are you personally in favor of uh, this becoming a municipality? Have yes, you been campaigning yes, yes. towards I'm, that I'm, end? I'm personally in favor of it. I think that it's a better route to go, but it's a separate issue more, uh, I'm more interested in seeing a better bus pullout put in here, and I'm particularly more interested in pedestrian safety. How about a car stop? Well, car stop could be worked in with it. The Transportation Commission, which I chair, actually puts car stops in on the island. So, and we work directly with BC. So the car stops are legal? Car stops are... They're there, I mean, and they've never been stopped, so I don't know the... So then a car stop might be a workable solution then? A car stop corner. could be a workable solution. I think what we need is a workable engineering solution on the hill because there's a lot of pedestrian problems, there's a lot of drainage problems, uh, there's a lot of road safety problems on it, irregardless of the bus pull -out. It's a very, very difficult piece of uh, traffic engineering, and we're hoping to have a big fix for it in about 2019. It's another project that the transportation had committed uh, to fix it. One of the things that's unusual about Salt